Oh, yeah. Should we do one more? Should we not do one more? I'm going to check the job market and see if I'm going to do another one. If I'm not, I'm not. If I am, I am. If I may not, I may not. I oh, boo, boo. I should probably just exit and check the place here. Go back to drive. Yeah, I just I just want to check the warehouse here, and then if not, I might have to drive back to LA. But that's that's a ways. There we go. Oh, back left, back left, bank, bank left. Please turn, turn. There you go. Whoa, back right. Oh, there you go. Straight in. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, betcha. Oh, let's go get some loot fisk after this. That's a drive and a half. Fuck. But it's so expensive. Is it because we're transporting like gases or liquids or hazard class two, whatever the fuck that is? So whether we want to do a shorter one or a longer one. This one's only to Fresno. This one's to Reading. It's rude, we're going up to Reading. Gonna do one more mission. This one's one more one more job. This one's probably gonna take like an hour though, so fuck me, right? But at least maybe we'll have a little bit of money. We're up to 20 grand, which isn't bad. As long as we don't crash, as long as we aren't dead, then we should be okay. I just... But that's, that's not me. I'm always going to crash all the time. Every time. Buck, buck, low. Like a somebody. Oh, we, we picked a shorter tank, it looks like. So lucky us. These are big penises. I, there, these are the most phallic things I've seen all day. Look at, look at these things and tell me they don't look like the biggest, blackest dick. <laughs> Except he's got a red urethra that says flammable on it, so I'd be a little worried. It's also half black, half white. I don't know what's going on here with your body. It's, it's your body. I'm not trying to kink shame anyone, but, uh, it's, uh, went the wrong way. F fuck, this is awkward. I am not going to be able to make this turn without backing up. Can confirm. Alright. Let's back up real quick and jackknife the shit out of this trailer. There we go. That's how we do it. And then we just pull forward and it'll do whatever the fuck a trailer does. It'll do that. It worked out just fine. We're going to have to stop, get gas, take a nap before we head on out anyway. Woohoo! Who put all these poles in here? Bad architects, that's who. Just kidding, I'm sure it's an architect that built for purpose. What does that say? I can't even read it. My, I feel like I need glasses in this game sometimes, man. Ugh. Got like 60-60 vision or something. I don't know. I don't know how to gauge vision based on that stupid chart. Stupid, like, elementary school medical checks and shit. It was like, test your eyes, like, yeah, you have 20, 20. Like, I go to a doctor anyway, I know, motherfucker. But it's like, you have lice, and I'm like, well, shit, I suppose that was gonna happen eventually, wasn't it? Can confirm, did actually have lice at one point in my life. When I had longer hair and looked like an idiot. To be fair, you can't blame me, I was like 10. <laughs> But I, I had lice. I played WoW for a week, really. Shirtless. While bugs crawled around my head. Scalp. Those spells were some big motherfuckers in there. Like, you could... Uh, it's not like they're microscopic. You can, like, pick them out with the fucking tweezers. And it's like, hey, what's up? And it's like, yo. And then they're like, fuck you. And I'm like, yeah, fuck me. But playing, playing World of Warcraft for a week wasn't bad. It was nice. It was a party. Woo, break. We're gonna have to wait at this red light. Oh, why is my hand? Oh, yeah, just stretch. Stretch over here. I, I recommend you do the same thing. <sighs> Exercise with me. You know, stretch left, stretch right. Oh, get, roll, roll your shoulders a little bit. I don't know. Woo. Out of some of my friends' silliness, whenever we just, that's what we do. We watched an anime that's, uh, that's just, like, short, 
five minute clips of them of anime girls showing you exercises and then like you're supposed to exercise with them except it's very confusing about who you are because they clearly talk to the camera and then call you a pervert which which makes me think that you're a guy but then the thing is that they're like push-ups will mess your make your breasts bigger so you should do them and it's like but i'm a guy how is that supposed to work uh, it's, and then like and then there's like an animal, like a ferret that drifts off somebody's shirt and it's like, wow, this got weirdly lewd while they're doing fucking like squats and shit. And it's like, this is just weird. Although every fourth episode is a, or every third episode, one of the two, there's either three or four of them, but it's just dancing, doing like the, they have this end credit dance and it's so weird and it goes CG all of, it's, it's awkward. It's I'm angry at that speeding offense, but totally calmed by this man singing. There we go. I'll just let him do all the talking for a minute. It was a green light, and I stopped for it. Oh, fuck, I'm dumb, dumb. I forgot to take a nap before going. Oh, I got gas, but I didn't take a nap. Man, oh, shit. Oh, this German singing only reminds me of House of Boys, the movie, where, for some reason, this six-year-old crossdresser just gets up on stage and sings in German. Does that multiple times. It's very weird. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful German singing there. <sighs> that was Ich Grule Nicht by whoever the fuck sings it. I don't know, it's, it's Ich Grule. There we go, I had a chicken. If I had a chicken. If I had a chicken. See, I can't differentiate the versions of The Fiddler on the Roof if I was a rich man. Yada da da dee da and Gwen Stefani's If I Was a Rich Girl. If I Was a Rich Girl. It's kind of a weird song to parody, though, for a pop artist, I feel. More people need to do a parody of If I Had a Chicken, clearly. We'll turn that back down, though. <laughs> yes, squids. I have a painting of a squid on my wall from a friend. That's always nice to look at. My tired eyes. Would you look better if you had an eye patch? Is that something to consider? Would you mutilate your own eyes just to wear an eye patch? I don't know. I don't think medical eye patches are all that cool anymore, though. Uh, good night. Oh, fuck you! I'm going 65, mother. Look at the, look how fast everyone else is going, and you're gonna you're gonna arrest me. You're gonna arrest this motherfucker. I'm a bad motherfucker. You got my pink and orange truck. You don't want to roll up on this thug. I'm gonna spill all my oil on you or whatever the hell I'm hauling. Does it say an F7 or F6? Gallon oil. Okay. Look at everybody is going faster, and you're you pulling me? You giving me tickets? Think I deserve these tickets? Give me, give me your honest opinion. Do I deserve these tickets? I should, I should probably pull off and take a nap, or do I continue? Huh. 
Looks like I'm continuing because I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> We're just gonna hope we don't pass out in the front seat and crash into whoever's in front of us. Or into a side barrier. Or someone to the left or right of us. Or really anywhere. Just passing out's not very good, is it? I have the fortunate life of never passing out or fainting or anything, so I've, I've not known how weird that would be. I fall asleep on my own terms. Good night. Good morning. Alright, where's where's a rest area? We've still got like 12 hours to go, man. Oof. I wish I could... I'm, if I pass these people... Oh, the cop pulled off. Everyone's pulling off. See you later. Highways to myself. Feels good, doesn't it? Having something all to yourself. Could be a small thing like a cookie. Could be a... A thing like a room or a house or an apartment or whatever. It's just jacket. I have to go to a way station now. Whoa, where's the exit? There it is. Oh, God, break. What the story, Mark? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with Tommy Wiseau. Whoa, bag it up. We passed too far. Thanks for weighing me. It's like going to the doctor's office every however often you're supposed to go to the doctor's office, but they're like, weigh you, and it's like, you've gained five pounds in the last year. I'm like, well, God. It's like I had puberty or something. <laughs> this was, of course, many years ago. Fuck that doctor, though. He was like... Plus 250 plus pounds. And I was like... Five pounds overweight. He's like, you're fat. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> and he called me T-Bone. I'm like, fuck you. I'm like, I don't just need this shit. Oh, there's a rest stop coming up. Thank God. Oh, God. Somebody... Somebody's home. Oh, God. Went, it's not me! <laughs> I can tell you that much, but we're just gonna casually drive. Oh, where's where is this so-called rest stop thing? Oh, are we gonna get into the sketchy, sketchy truck stop? Are you really gonna make me pull into one of these stops? This is a place to sleep. This is this is the place to sleep. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that took a long time. Hey, we get to drive during the day. Oh, there's that Iberian Peninsula cloud again. It's the only one I recognize. I don't know. I, it seriously looks like Spain. Everything else just looks like a T-shaped cloud. <laughs> Make it a T-shaped cloud. <laughs> We still have a ways to go. 434 miles is nothing to, to cough at. Every time I say this, I realize that I've said that multiple times, except I think I change up what verb I'm doing, like sneeze, cough, cry at, I don't know. Don't look a gift horse in the mouse as if I've said multiple times as well. Hmm. Have you learned anything from me? I highly doubt it. Have I learned anything from me? Years of experience. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, look at all these wind turbines and power lines. How they look so pretty together. Is it ever gonna rain in fucking California? Does anyone here have as much of a fetish for Toblerone as I do? I love me some Toblerone. Oh. At a hotel in uh, southern Germany, I think it was Munich. Instead of chocolates on the pillow, they would leave little, like, small Toblerones on the pillow. Oh my god. So good. Love Toblerone. Alright, funny, funny story. So, <laughs> clearly I don't sound like the manliest of men, but I, I do not look at either. Especially when I was younger. A little slow on the hormone thing, but uh, 
So when I was like 15, was was coming back on a flight, and like the the TSA people, I was like I had to go through one of those body scanner things that they have now, and where like they do like a little scan, like look at you naked or whatever. I don't know. Then I came out on the other side. They looked me sternly in the eyes and go, "Are you a boy or a girl?" And I'm like, "Oh my fucking god." <laughs> <laughs> How awkward. It was awkward. I don't want to... Uh, I, I clearly said I, I was a boy, and then they looked at me and just, like, turned around. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> How sad. That's, that's, that's another story of me being confused. It's... It hasn't happened in, like, six months. I'm so happy. I don't know what finally happened. I don't think anything happened. I didn't change anything in, like, the last six months, but I finally don't get confused for a girl at the zoo anymore. I don't even know how. It, it doesn't make any sense. I look like a person now. Couldn't have understood it earlier. It happened a lot more frequently earlier as well, and then it would happen, like, once, once a day sometimes. But the first day I got through without being confused for a girl. Ugh. What a day! What a day, Mark. Or not the Mark. That's uh, that's that's the the tagline for the Neighbors TV show. What I Tommy Wiseau is what a day. Oh yes, yes, classical music. This told the doors from Cameron by Bizit. <laughs> I think Bizit's the artist from YouTube that put this on there, but I don't know. Sad day. Are we almost there? No, eight hours. <laughs> 300 miles to go. Alright, what can I talk about for 300 miles? Um, 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 the one, one banana, two banana, three banana, four. Have you ever had a banana? Of course you have. I hope a bananas are, what am I, what am I even saying about bananas? You probably had a banana. I don't want, I don't know what the statistical data of banana consumption is, but I assume a lot of people consume ban bananas. I assume they're popular in every country. I don't know. Maybe Canada's currency has gone down to so shit that you can't even get a banana. <laughs> Silly Canadian currency. And their oil prices going down. They lead to a bad Canadian dollar. Ah. America number one for life. Good old ethnocentrism. Don't you just love it as an excuse for everything? America number one. Number one, America. America. Bald Eagles. Santa Claus. Oh. I love it too much. It's so in so in Mountain Blade and Napoleonic Wars, this uh this game this expansion for Mountain Blade where everybody has rifles and stuff. It's you know, it's like Napoleonic War era, so it's quite silly. But in that in that game everybody has classical music, but as well as there's in certain modes you can play instruments. So besides some bass maps having a piano in them, they can just sit down and play like a, a set of classical music too, while just spinning in circles, because it didn't matter where you were facing, you could just spin. But um, you, there was also like uh, some people had like flutes and stuff, flutes, drums, flags, and you would just have like three people in a squad of like twenty <laughs> carrying dumb shit and just like playing morale-inspiring music. It was quite silly. I like that game. Not a lot of people play it though. What's like all the old games? Don't they just fall apart when everybody everybody leaves? Even new games. Call the Arms, which is a game I adore. The, the most recent, like, Men of War game sort of thing. That came out, like, last summer. Well, it's still in early access, but, like, two, two people, 30 people at a time play it. It's like, that's not enough to get a good multiplayer game going or set. Poor old Down to One. So that, that game, I have a video of it from when it came, like the first game went early access last year, was an absolute mess. Now now it's out, now it's not popular, and it's not the worst game of all time it looks like, and it's it's not the greatest either, but it wasn't. 
it's, it's just so sad how some games just fall apart immediately. All their sad part is that when it came out in early access, it was like 10 bucks. now it's 99 cents, so I feel like I may have got the band end of the deal. <laughs> but seriously, that was a nightmare. It was just like, they killed us in spawn. It's It was silly. It was so glitched. It was like negative one people remain. It was like, what are you talking about, game? What are you on? Oh, look at that pretty sunset. It matches our car. Oh, we gotta get some cinematic mode on this one. Oh, perfect. Got him. Got him. Where, where, how do I, how do I turn this thing off? Uh, ah, uh, shit. No, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Okay, is it is it pretty? Is it pretty? Because it's really hard to drive. <laughs> did I did I do it? Oh my god, this car is stopping ahead of me. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is this, this is really hard to drive. Oh my god. 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 People are slowing down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, back to back to this mode and turn turn the GPS back on. There, 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 there we go. Well, that was absolutely terrifying. Pretty sunset though. Look at that little plane flying ahead of us. Are we there yet? We're going north. Oh, okay, 144 miles left. Ooh. Oops, that stomach in the distance. Yeah, Pepco Bismol. <laughs> Did anyone ever have Pepco Bismol? I never had any. But those commercials got in your head though. Anybody remember when Quiznos first came like to be popular? I remember like the first Quiznos that I saw. It was like singing some stuff, but then, like, me and my brother forever remember Salt and Pepper Bar. It was sung in a stupid way. It was like, we got a pepper bar. I was like, what does that mean? I don't know, but it was singing hilariously. It was a fun fact. Funny story, right? Hey, look at train. I have come to a point of rambling while I use one hand to hit WSND and another one to try to open Toblerone. <laughs> oh, God. I told you I have, an, I have, a, I have an addiction. Don't, don't, don't drive in Toblerone. Eh. Eh, it's this is this is unhealthy for to do while while recording. You're just gonna hear me some dumb shit. I, I can tell you that much. Sometimes you just can't resist a Toblerone though. It's a muse of mine. Oh, there we go. Mm. So good. Chocolate day outside, nougaty center, Swiss. Swiss chocolate. So what's up? We gotta be almost there, right? 80 miles? Ugh. Going as fast as I can. Oregon State, that'd be an interesting state to go through. How silly, yeah, uh, if they put out more states, it'd be fun, right? I wonder what happened if we put out, like, fucking Delaware, though, because that state's tiny. Is there going to be anything in it? <laughs> Delaware, Rhode Island, if they ever get further east, because California is a big state, Nevada is a reasonably big state. What if they do, like, Texas? It's, like, the size of, like, all of Europe, though, isn't it? <laughs> but, like, Texas, California, Alaska? It's probably, like, the size of Europe at that point. If not before. Because those are some big states. America's a big place, and I... Let's make America great again. So I saw this video of, like, I don't know if they're, like, Trump's daughters or what, but, like, a group of three young girls, and they were singing, like, to support Trump or whatever on, like, his, his campaign way, and it was, like, enemies of justice bringing them down. It was so weird. Just bring them down. Enemies of freedom. It was, it was pretty funny. Ah, that happened. And the cops saw it. 
This is what happens when we're on a slope and I can't break. I just want to turn in my oil. <laughs> I did it again. Just give him a little love tap. Love tap. Beep beep. Vroom vroom from the back. That's it. Let Jesus take the wheel. Yada yada yada. We're back up to Redding. We've already been up here. We we still haven't gone further north to the other places like Eureka. I think that's more west though. Could always look at the map, but that'd be for suckers. Let's get ready to turn up at this light. It's a good thing no pedestrians exist in this game within hittable areas. They just put up fences wherever there are people. It's funny. Well, uh, it looks like we're almost done here, so might as well just start wrapping up now so I can just cry. Oh, we gotta go. Go, go, go. Um, so thanks. I got distracted by the song. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. You know, I I can't believe that there's somebody out there who watches this. Honestly, if if you would like to uh, continue watching, I of course will allow you to. <laughs> this is my turf, though. Uh, if there's if there's something you want to suggest, a way to make it better, by all means, suggest it. Or just keep watching it. Don't watch it. Watch it. Watch it. And up the up the hoo-ha. Watch it in every room of the house. Watch it multiple times a day. Tell tell your favorite grandmother about it. Uh, don't do that. I don't think she'll enjoy it or understand how to get here in the first place. But that's that's a stereotype of old people. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm always available <laughs> by by phone. I'm just kidding. I am not. Please don't call me. Please don't hack my phone. <laughs> hey, we, we delivered oil to oil fields for some reason. Hey, security guard, what's up? It's been a while since I've seen you. Delivered. Company collector, and I think I like it. Oh, look at that value. Ka-ching. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Good ending point. Now, well, hey, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. And I'm <laughs> keep on watching as much as you want, or don't. I would totally understand if you didn't. We're gonna save butt stuff again. But uh, see you next time.